Hi there. Welcome to Craft with Kathy. Just a little follow-up to a project that I made last week. This was just done on a 5x5 um, five five frame, and it says, May your coffee kick in before reality does. And I saw these little barista um, towels on sale the other day, and I said, oh my goodness, they are perfect for this transfer. If you don't have an ink mat, a piece of carver works fine, but the ink mat actually is adhesive and works a little bit better because it sticks to your fabric and doesn't let anything slide around. Now these towels are 28 inches um, in width, and I actually have kind of taped off 11 inches from the side because my transfer is six inches wide. So all I'm gonna do is put this piece of cardboard underneath it to protect it from bleeding through to the surface underneath. Like I said, if you don't have an ink mat, go ahead and use um, a piece of cardboard, a piece of flat cardboard. But actually, the ink mat is really makes makes life a little bit easier on you, as because of course it takes out the wrinkles and keeps everything in place and whatever. And my cardboard's crooked here, <laughs> whatever. So like I said, the t the towels are 28 inches wide, and being that my transfer is six inches in width, with this is 12 by 18 inches, so each of these are six inches. I thought. Um, that I'd allow for the six inches in between, if that makes any sense. And I am going to use bright white paste and bark. I think I'm going to do the first one in just plain bark, and then I might lighten up the next one. Or maybe not. Maybe I'll go with the bark. Something just a shade deeper than the actual um, stripes on the towel. So because I'm using this on fabric, I am not going to fuzz it. No need to fuzz when you're putting it on fabric because you want it to stick as snugly as it can. And you definitely want to use um, ink, not paste, because this is going to be washed. If it was for decorative purposes only where I never washed it, I wouldn't worry about it. But as I'm going to use this, I want to be able to wash it and dry it. So I've got my bark ink. Just opening it up, grabbing a squeegee. Oh, I could use a big squeegee here actually, and applying my ink. And it's pretty much the same process as chalk paste, but you wanna be careful and not get any ink on your fingers because you don't wanna accidentally smudge and get some on your surface. So look at how quick and easy this is. I'm going over it more than once just to make sure that the fabric gets a chance to absorb the the ink and then I'm smoothing it out removing any excess ink I this is such a beautiful color I don't I was gonna lighten it up and make more like a, a Boston colored coffee for it but I don't think I will ink check for my fingers make sure I don't have any ink on my fingers before I lift this up isn't that beautiful? Really perfect with these towels. Now I did just get ink on me. Let me wash off my finger. And just a couple finger checks as you ink because ink is permanent. If you do get it on your surface in an area that you weren't in, in were not intending, um, I would suggest, I mean, you could try blotting it off or wiping it off, but honestly, I would probably just um, go with the flow, look at it as a happy accident, and put some other thing over it. Now, see, that ble did bleed through to the cardboard. Oops. So I'm going to actually open this up so it doesn't bleed through to the back. I should have just grabbed another piece of cardboard, but I think it'll be fine. Let me put this aside to dry. And I had another one sitting right here. Again, I just marked off the area with um, painter's tape, 11 inches. And you know what? I'm going to grab a different piece of cardboard because I don't want to take any chance of smearing this on the back. I guess my little recycle of cardboard came in handy. I got it set. I was going to carry it out a little while ago and I have it right here. So this has been fortuitous, what could I say? 
Okay. Um, actually, our placement tape goes really would work really well for this instead of um, painter's tape. But I realized I was out of placement tape. Okay, let me get that out of the way. We have my other transfer here. And then I'll have a nice set. Hi, Deb. How you doing? I am putting a little personalization on some barista towels. So I'm just eyeballing this. I want it straight. If you're unsure, you could measure between the stripes and the bottom of the transfer. But I think that looks good. Let me grab my ink again. And this one says, oh, I can't read it all. <laughs> now that I've covered most of it up, I'm going to have to wait until I lift it. Surprise, surprise, right? But what a great way to add a little character to your kitchen, to your coffee bar, coffee station, your Keurig area, whatever you use. So I just want to go over this a little bit, give it a second to soak into the fibers of the fabric. I did not prep this towel at all. It hasn't been washed. It's brand new. I just took it out, and I have to admit, I didn't even iron it. Put this on the side out of my way here. Finger check. Let me clean off my fingers. It is fun. I love inking, and I know you've done a little bit of it yourself, Deb, and um, it's just so quick, and it's I like wearables, truly, truly. I love doing t-shirts and things like that. But these were so cute when I saw them, especially on sale. I was like, oh, no, they'll go great with my coffee transfer. So let me, let me get them. Coffee, a liquid that smells like fresh ground heaven. So now all I have to do is take my transfers over to the sink and wash them up. Remove the ink from them set them sticky side up to dry. I will wait until this dries. Once it is dry, I will take a piece of parchment paper, put it over it, iron it, or use my heat press. Just set your iron or the heat press to the particular fabric. If it's an iron, make sure you use parchment paper and keep the iron moving for four minutes. If it's a heat press, it's generally like 30, 35 seconds. Flip it over to the other side, to the back of it, parchment paper, iron, or heat press again. That's all there is to making it permanent. Simple, quick, and easy. And I probably shouldn't have taken the cardboard out from underneath this one so I could show it a little better here. But won't these make an adorable set? Thank you so much for watching. Have a good weekend. I will see you soon.